welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Sarah from AWS and we're here in London today, but all the way from Germany is Danielle from DB Systel. Um, can you just explain who DB Systel are, what you do? Yeah, DB Systel is the IT infrastructure provider for Deutsche Bahn and Deutsche Bahn is the German railway group. Ah, okay. So you've gone on a, a, a program of migrating workloads from on-premise data centers into the cloud and we were going to talk a bit about how you've adapted and evolved your security um, architecture in order to, to sort of support that, that migration. Yeah, so when we began with uh, migrating resources into the cloud, we talked about security, of mm. course, yeah, and mainly in our, in our local world, in our local data center, we have a lot of physical security and a lot of network security controls. But this doesn't scale into the AWS cloud. Therefore, yeah. we had to think about new concepts. Okay. And there are two concepts I want to show you today. One concept is the isolation of administrative access, and the other is the identity integration part. Okay, so how does it work? What, what does a user do? to log on? If an administrator, for example, wants to access the computer resources in AWS EC2, for example, he needs to log in on a workspace. The workspace is used like a bastion host right. and helps us to have all the administrative accesses from one part of the network. Yeah, so it's a really small um, attack surface. Yes, and it's yeah. controlled. Yeah. So, and to control that, we connected AWS workspaces with our multi-factor provider. So this you already had, or did you build this new? We choose to use our existing world because users are used to do that. Yeah? Right. They have their um, access tokens, for example, and so it's very easy for them to connect to workspaces. Okay, and what technology is this? This is a combination of um, Google Authenticator, for example, so uh, um, yeah, an open standard for mm. multi-factor authentication, and our existing uh, on-premise um, authentication solution called HID system. Oh, okay, okay. So they've authenticated. What, what happens next? Yeah, now they have access to their workspace. Now they can, for example, SSH to their computer resources. Right. Right, so that gives them that permission. So how are you um, managing, I see you've got IAM there, what, what are you doing with IAM? Yeah, IAM we need to use to control the access to AWS uh, console, for example, uh, or okay. the CLI. Yep. So as soon as the administrator wants to, for example, change new, uh, the compute resources, um, mm. fires up new EC2 instances, or create databases, he needs to have access to the AWS console. And that's where we use IAM. So um, normally you would create new users here mm -hmm. and to allow the administrator to um, uh, have its yeah. own account yeah. in IAM. We want to access our existing um, identity management solution for connecting to IAM. Okay, and what is this solution? This is an Active Directory, for right. example. Okay. And this stores all the information about our administrators or our users that we have. We use our whole enterprise uh, world um, that we already knew. So how, how does that link to that? Yeah, that is done by an identity provider. So we have like a logical <laughs> connection yes. between these two. And this is implemented using the yeah. SAM. SAML protocol. You're using SAML, okay. So how are you actually connecting Active Directory to IAM? We've done that with um, groups we store in our Active Directory. So as soon as we create, for example, a new account in AWS, we have a new role in a central AWS IAM account. Okay. So in the same role we have in our Active Directory. As soon as we want to have access for one administrator into this role, mm -hmm. that means into this AWS account, this administrator gets this role connected in Active Directory, yeah. and when he tries to access the AWS console, for example, mm -hmm. the administrator is redirected to our identity provider. Right. There he authenticates, yeah. or he gets an SSO when he connects from workspaces, yeah. and these roles right out from the Active Directory right. and transferred to 
AWS IAM with the Xamarin Assertion. And then that just propagates through. And how many users are you typically supporting on this system? We can support as many users as we want. Yeah? So this solution scales, so we mm. can have hundreds of roles in the central account. Okay. And you can have, can have hundreds of groups here in Active Directory. And I guess thousands, easily thousands of users. I think at the end we will have uh, thousands of administrators that need to access right. the AWS right. console. It's really good, it's really nice. And, and, I, and I guess what's really nice is that you've been able to reuse what you're used to, but just extend that into the cloud as you yeah. gradually move your workloads across. It's been really nice talking to you. It's been really interesting seeing what you've done to make your workloads secure in the cloud. Thank you, Daniel. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.